Hey guys, here I'm going to be showing you how to actually make a What Atenos server for your Minecraft Java edition. And there's also a better edition if you need that for 1.16 or any lower. And um, so first of all, what you need to do is come to the site atenos.org. Once you come here, you'll be shown this page here. If this is your first time, go ahead and click create your server, enter in a username and then click next. As I already have uh, an account, I have xradar as my username and that's what I'll be using. If you already have an account, go ahead and type in your login here and your password here. And then once you're there, go ahead and click login. Once you have logged in, you will have um, a server here. If, once you have a server, go ahead and go here. If you want to change the version, go ahead and click change. If you want to go ahead, uh, if you want to change the, the thing itself. So the amount of slots that we want, let's say maximum slots, 10 slots. This is going to be the maximum number of players. Let's go ahead and click save that. The game mode will be survival if we want to survive. It can be creative if you want to creative. The difficulty will be hard. Um, do we want command blocks? No, we don't. Force game mode. Uh, this means if you want everybody in the game to have to have survival. So I'd recommend turning this on. Um, other than that, I'd recommend just copying everything I have here. Unless you want it on easy, peaceful or anything above. If you want to change the name of it, you can just go ahead and change it to... Um, random Aternos, so you can't have any spaces, server, that is a massive name, most likely taken, it is taken, that is, that is very useless, let's say Aternos server 21, that is, it's too big, okay, um, forever 21, how about that, are you happy with that, okay, it's happy with forever 21, let's go ahead over to our server now, when you do is click start, Yes, I accept the EULA. I say OK through this. And it's going to start, uh, it's going to put you in the queue very soon. Today. OK, if it does this, just go ahead and restart the thing here. This should get it to work. There you go. So as we're waiting in the queue, it's going to take about one minute. All you have to do is go ahead and copy this. Uh, go to your Minecraft. Uh, find the actual version that you put it in. Mine is in 1.16. As you can see, um, if we scroll down here, 1.16 and 1.16 that's why i'm not going to watch this video here so 1.16 go ahead and click play wait for that to load up a few moments later once you've done this go ahead and go to multiplayer click proceed because apparently it's dangerous um go ahead and add server the name does not matter but once you're here click um hold control and click v you got that, you'll click done. And you can just go ahead and scroll down to the bottom because that's where it'll be and normally this will be your server. You just have to click refresh and um, check what this thing is doing. Just not quite started yet, but once it has started, then we will be able to join the game. Ah, to begin to commence to initiate. That's rather useless, thank you Grammarly. So I got my Minecraft here is ready but it's not ready. One eternity later. Okay, so once it is up and it says online, you just have to go to that server that you, that you, wrote, that you wrote in and your server will appear somewhere along here. Uh, I do believe it would be at the bottom. That's usually where it is. There you go. Welcome to the server of XRadar. Go ahead and click join. Logging in. Encrypting. Joining world. And we are here. But that was the video. And um, well now you can just give your friends that link. They just have to do the same thing. And you can have as many people as you asked for. But for now guys. Goodbye.